What up guys? I'm gonna show you in this video my best invention yet. The candle warmer. How to keep your handmade pottery beverages hot with nothing but an inexpensive tea candle. All right, we're gonna do some experiments to show you exactly how it works. It's gonna be awesome. Let's do it. This is probably the most excited video I've been in a long time. Well, announcing the book was pretty exciting too, but I've been working on this idea for at least a year, and I finally feel like I'm at a point where I can talk about it. So your morning may start like my morning does many mornings, pretty much every morning actually, where I'm making coffee, right? So I typically will make coffee inside the house, I grab a cup, and then I come out to the studio. And if your cup is like this, then it doesn't take very long before the coffee isn't very hot anymore, or the tea or whatever hot beverage you're using. The only way to heat it up is really to go get more coffee or like a lot of times I would pour it back into the coffee pot and pour it back out into my mug. It's just, it's difficult to keep your coffee hot long enough where you can enjoy the entire cup. Am I right? Who else is out there? Who is with me? So I try to figure out a way, like how do I keep my coffee hot while I'm working in the studio? Cause often I'll start drinking and then I'll go throw pots for like 25 minutes and I'll come back Coffee's not hot anymore. I don't even wanna drink it. So, the candle warmer, using nothing but a tea candle, a clay piece that I have designed that looks like this. This will keep your coffee hot the entire time you drink it. And right away, it hardly changes the temperature at all. So, the temperature that it comes out, which right now, this coffee is 138 degrees. So when it's up to this, like really full, it doesn't really change the coffee temperature too much. But as you drink it and it gets lower and lower and lower, then it starts to keep it hot and it will actually make the bottom third even hotter. So to test this out, I've actually never done this before, but I'm, this is kind of why I wanted to make this video. So I'm announcing this, we'll have some of these for sale for the first time ever, November 9th, which is our next restock. But I am going to test with the pot of coffee, four different mugs full of coffee. I'm gonna do one that is full that I'm drinking out of, so you see how it would re react in real life where you're drinking and it goes down. And then I'll have one that I'm drinking out of that is not on the coffee warmer. And then I'll have one that I just keep full and another one that I keep full and then I'll measure the temperatures and I wanna show you guys how well this product works. <laughs> All right, you ready? Let's do it. Pour this one out and pour new coffee in so that they're all at 143 degrees right now. That's 143, that's 142, that's 142, 143, and 143. I'm gonna drink out of these two at a similar pace, right? So every few minutes I'll take a sip or pour a little out if I'm getting a little jittery. And then these two I'm just gonna leave in here indefinitely for the next few hours. It's 11:12 right now. Okay, so you, I mean, there's already a little bit of a difference, right? Like these two have stayed above 140 and these two are right at 140 or below 140. So typically, I would say most of the time you make coffee, pour it out of your coffee maker and it's gonna be anywhere from 140 to 150. And that's gonna be pretty hot. What we really wanted to do is stay in that 130 range. Once you start to get below like 120, then it really doesn't, it's like ugh. With these, the, the temperature comes down a little bit right away just because like there's so much liquid in there and the, it hasn't had any time to like the heat comes from the bottom. But what I like about the design of this is that as you drink it, like as we drink it and the coffee comes down, then we actually start to get hotter. So like that last third, you'll see if we leave it for five, 10 minutes, 
then it's actually gonna start to get hotter. We are going to just leave these now for a little bit. I'll come back and take a sip of these in maybe like five minutes. Um, and then I'll share the new temperatures with you guys. And then, yeah, we're just gonna get some work done. It's been five minutes. It's 11.17 now. 11.17. 140. 129. So 140. It's gone down two degrees. One, well, let's call it 130. Yep, it's at 140. It's at 131. In five minutes, these two have gone down 10 degrees and these two have gone down two. As for our experiment, I'm gonna take a little sip of this one and I'm gonna take a little sip of this one. And I can definitely tell it's not as hot. We'll go another five minutes. So at 11.25, we'll come back. It has been another five minutes and I'm guessing what's gonna happen is these have all gone down, but these will have gone down a lot and these will have only gone down a little. So, ready? 134, 120, 135, and 122. So now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it for 15 minutes. So I'll come back at 11.40, and then I'm gonna just like pour like these two like half probably. So now this one's up to here, this one's up to here. This is a problem. This is a, like a legit problem for me every day and I have a solution now, I think. So, see you guys in 12 minutes now. So, it's 140, well I guess it's 141 now. And we're gonna check the temps. Okay, so the one that we've been drinking out of is 132. This one is 99, less than 100. 96. This one that's still really full is 127. And this one that's full is 107. Okay, so 132, 99, 120. Okay, so after approximately 20 minutes, this one that we've been drinking out of has gone down 40 degrees. It's gone from 140 to 100, right? And this one has gone from 142 to 132, so it's gone down 10 degrees. So we're, I'm gonna take a sip. Mmm. Very drinkable. Very good. Hot. And that is not good. Not good at all. And then these two, this one's at 105, this one's at 128. So this one has gone down a little slightly more than this one because I'd say this one is getting to the point where it's getting low enough where it'll actually start going up now. And this one has not gone down as much as this one because it has more mass in it, right? It has more coffee that's keeping the whole thing hotter. So this is super, super interesting. This is how I like have every single morning. I have my coffee, I go out here, I light it, and then I'll go work for 20 minutes and I'll come back, my coffee's still hot. And then as I drink it lower, then it starts to get even hotter. So your make, so I have a few taglines for this new business that I want. Make your last sip as hot as your first. How do you like that one? Or the other one was, um, it's like having your own personal fireplace right at your desk. You can see I'm pretty excited about this idea. Okay, so I'm gonna pour a little bit more out of each of these. So they both have maybe a third now, and it is 11.45. This one is 131. This one is 96. Like you don't wanna be drinking 96 degree coffee. I'm just, I'm just saying, you don't. That's 128, 105. So, I mean, I, the product works with how your lifestyle works, right? As you drink coffee, then it starts to get hotter. You know, opposed to the alternative is like a travel mug like this that is really well insulated that will keep it hot in here. But when you pour 150 degree coffee into this and you start sipping, it's like, oh, it's so hot. But when you pour it into a handmade pottery mug, you drink it and it's bliss. So that's why, I mean, I'll drink out of this if I have to, but I always prefer to drink out of a handmade pottery mug. But the only problem is you give up the insulation and the, the keeping the beverage hot properties of one of these. So thus, the candle warmer. 
I'm just gonna quick tell you the little story about how I started this project. It started with making a mug with a bottom on it that you could put a candle under, right? So like this mug, you would just set the candle under. And I really liked this idea. I thought this was the, the solution, like this is it. So I gave these out to my family and friends for Christmas last year and people started using them and they're like, this is cool, but there's X, Y, Z are the problems. A couple of the problems were like, sometimes you would forget that you had it on the candle and then you'd move it and it would like knock it and the wax would go everywhere on your table or wherever you were on your floor. So I thought, okay, there's too few issues there. So then I came up with the idea of just doing the base part, right? So then I started playing around with this idea of having like a, sm uh, a base that has no bottom to it that you would just set over the candle. But then I really liked the idea of actually being able to carry and then also contain the wax. So if any wax got out, then it would just get on the, the pot, it wouldn't get on your table or whatever. So, and the fact that you can carry it around from place to place without having to pick up like this little hot candle that has hot wax on it. And then this year, I still didn't talk about it because I wasn't sure the design was good or ready. So then this year when it started to get cold, I was like, okay, I gotta do this idea again. And the game changer came when I started to put these pieces on top. Cause the one issue that I had when it had no um, like little pieces that elevated the mug on there was some, every once in a while it would, the candle would go out, right? So what this does is it allows oxygen to flow through there and get to the flame so that the flame can be like a really, really vibrant flame. The other thing that it does is it just raises up the mug a little bit. So you just don't want the flame in direct contact, but when you elevate it just a little bit, then it does it perfectly, just like that. Warms the mug, the mug doesn't get like a black, black spot on the bottom or anything, just like that. We'll leave this now for another 10, 15 minutes, we'll come back. So basically, if you don't have one of these candle warmers and you are drinking coffee for 20 plus minutes, then you're gonna be drinking coffee at 95 or less degrees. But if you do have it, then you're gonna be drinking it at 130 plus degrees. Cha-ching! All right, let's go make some more pots, huh? It's 12.03, so it's been about 50 minutes, but this one is 139. So 15 minutes ago, this was 131. And so it's actually gone up eight degrees now, um, almost up to 140, which it started at 142. So basically you're at ex almost exactly the temp that you were at when you started. This one is at 83 degrees. This one is at 125. And this one is at 93. So there's about a 50 degree difference in the two that we've been drinking from. So that's a big deal. <laughs> and there is the ones that we haven't touched at all that we just left the coffee in alone. There is about a 30 degree difference. So 93 and 125. So still very drinkable, but it's actually, it's like an incentive to drink it down because the more you drink down, the hotter it's gonna get. You would never like bring a cup of coffee out and leave it for like an hour. So that's why this method is more simulating what would real life would be, right? So a few things that you wanna keep in mind is the tea candles make a big difference too. Like one of the reasons why I think this is a great idea is because everybody has tea candles sitting around their house, right? And you, if you don't have one, I bought 200 like, six hour ones, which are the extended time. So they last for six hours each. So I bought 200 of them on Amazon for like $18. And that'll last me like, I mean, I've been using, I'm like a quarter of the way through and I've been using them for six plus months. So that'll last over a year. So it's, in, it's an inexpensive, fun, cool, safe way to really enjoy the one thing every morning that gets you going. I mean, that's why I have so much energy. If you want more energy, just drink more coffee, right? Oh. <sighs> I do, I have a lot of energy right now. So good. I don't mind if you go try and make one yourself, but please don't go and sell them to anybody. This was my original idea. I mean, obviously like there's been other things that have heated things from candles below, but this, to use it for a drinkable beverage, I believe mine is the first and only in the world that was designed like this for this purpose. 
So I do want to see where it goes and see if it has a future. I'll sell them. The first batch of them are going to be up on November 9th with a bunch of other pots. So if you want to try and buy one of the first ones, I tested them all and I know they all work. If you want to buy one, November 9th, they'll be for sale. Basically, the problem is drinking coffee out of a handmade mug is better than drinking out of a travel mug, but you give up the insulation of a mug like this. And the solution is this candle warmer, which is a safe, elegant, simple way, inexpensive way to keep drinking your coffee at the optimum temperature. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna leave these uh, go for a little bit. So maybe I'll check in with you like at the end of this video. It's now two o'clock. So it's been three hours since we started this experiment, right? We left just a little bit of a sip in this one. So this one is now at 150. So it's actually gone up since we started, but that's because there's not that much left in there. So it heats up quickly. The one, this one's at 73 degrees. And this is really interesting because this is still really full. It's like really almost up to here. And this is at 130. So this has stayed surprisingly right around 131 degrees. And then this one is at 74. So basically after two or three hours, you're gonna be at room temperature and these you're gonna stay right around that 130 range. I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked on how this experiment worked. What do you guys think? You guys buy one? All right, thank you guys all so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, like, share, comment, all the things. See you guys in the next video. Like you don't wanna be drinking 96 degree coffee, I'm just, I'm just saying, you don't.